sicko asked that question. <laughs> the audacity. I can feel the tension over here. <laughs> Come on! Come on! <laughs> what is up, guys? Welcome back to my channel. Today, we're doing a juicy Q&A. We're going to get deep, serious, funny, whatever. And I'm here with Mo and Jess. And let's go. We're going to hop right into the intro. and We'll be back. Jessica in Chicago and we're just having a really fun time. She says she's from Chicago, but she's really 30 minutes out from Chicago. <laughs> oh, she's from the suburbs. She's a suburb suburbs. Kid. Thank you for tuning in to my channel. Today I am doing a collaboration with Jessica Joy's channel. Hey. And then Mo Morgan from the <laughs> Paula Morgan show. And we're gonna be tackling some of your deep, juicy funny, serious, whatever questions that you ask me. If you are new here, make sure you hit that subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up if you like it. Even if you don't like it, just for once in your life, do something good and give it a thumbs right. up. Right. <laughs> it, it literally doesn't take that much. All you have to do is like, Boop. Guys, if you hear like car noises and ambulance, we're in Chicago filming, so it's like more hopping than normal. So Jessica is technically a Chicago native, so we are collaborating in the great Chi Town. Or do you call it Chi Town or Chi Town? Chi Town. Chi Town. Mm -hmm. Okay, Chi Town. So I'm just gonna ask you guys like all the questions, and then I'll answer it myself. So, okay. What do you do for a living? So, I really don't do anything crazy, honestly. I mean, I'm just a nanny right now. <laughs> so that's the tea. Just a nanny. Nanny and life. Yes. <laughs> Were you a nanny before? Oh yes, yeah, for right? 10 years. Oh my gosh. <laughs> you guys know what I do for a living, so go watch my other videos if you wanna know what I do for a living. Dog sniffer. <laughs> <laughs> I sniff dogs. <laughs> no, I'm a canine handler and my dog finds bed bugs. Yes. And I do YouTube full time. Yeah. Yeah, that's the tea. Go watch your videos that's if you wanna know what she does. <laughs> Why are you living? I was born and yeah. Jesus put me here. <laughs> Facts. <laughs> How did you guys meet? We met through social media. And yeah. this is actually our first time meeting in person. Yeah. So. We've I've been friends on Instagram for like a year now. Yeah, really? It's been a year? Yeah, it was January yeah, 15th like when January. I That's insane. I know, it's, it's crazy. crazy. Yeah, we've been like Instagram buddies. Yeah, I know, for a whole year. And then I'm assuming you saw me on YouTube. I think I found your testimony. Yeah. So she has a really awesome testimony, by the way. Like, I share it with a lot of people, so you guys Aww. gotta check it out. Yeah. Uh, we just met today. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Literally, like, what about 30 minutes ago? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, wow. <laughs> Dabby. Hannah and I also met through social media, like, two years ago. Two? Has it been two years? I, I think, think so. I feel like it's been one and a half. I don't know. I don't know Who either, knows? but yes, social media is great <laughs> for friendships. <laughs> for sure. I meet a lot of my friends on social media. Yeah, I mean, I've met several of my really close friends now through social media, yeah. so yeah. don't knock it till you try it. <laughs> what is the biggest lie Christians believe today? Ooh, ooh, wow. that's big. I mean, obviously there are a lot of lies that we are all deceived from. By the enemy, blah blah. Um, one that just like immediately came to my mind was the love of Christ and what that looks like. Mm -hmm. I think a lot of people think that the love of Christ looks like acceptance and full approval yeah. of someone's lifestyle, and that's just not the case. That's not what Jesus looks like mm -hmm. when yeah. he was on earth. Like, read the Bible and you'll see. Yeah. I just read a verse in Luke that said, um, do you think that I came for peace? No, I came for... Oh, what's the word? <laughs> yeah, I gotta find it real quick. Sorry. Yeah, I feel like that is, though, one of the biggest things going on nowadays that we've been, like, censored as Christians, and we're kind of told that we can't correct people or else we're being hateful and we're being, like, crazy judgmental and stuff like that. But we're really doing it because like a lot of us have gone through a path in our life where if someone would have corrected us from that, it could have saved us from a lot of things. Yeah. At the end of the day, like we're not being judgmental. Like we're just trying to share the love of Christ with people. Oh, but sure. we are being told now that it's coming off as hate and we're being censored. And I feel like as Christians now, we're starting to believe that, yeah, I am being hateful. Yeah, I shouldn't come down on 
you know, certain topics because I can or I shouldn't. And it's like, no, we are called to correct certain stuff. And that's yeah. just the reality of it. For sure. Yeah. For sure. Not to say that there aren't Christians or people who claim to be Christians out there that have been disgustingly For hateful sure. to people. So oh, yeah. we don't want to yeah. claim that. Yep. Yeah. But basically, Jesus said, do you think I have come to bring peace? No, I tell you, but division. Which is just crazy to me because everyone in this world is like peace and love and blah blah blah. And so like we're just so confused about what Jesus Christ's love, God's love looks like. But I mean if you read the Bible for what it says and not for what you want it to say. Come on. Um, <laughs> you're going to see very quickly. Yep, I agree with that. You know my feet are freezing because they're sitting on the window thing. But I'm feeling the fire. <laughs> Go! Oh dear. I never realized how cheesy you were, Hannah. <laughs> <laughs> I am a dad jokes advocate. <laughs> I wanted to add to like the biggest lies Christians believe. Yeah. I actually heard something from Francis Chan. Sorry, my nose is like <laughs> so <Stuff. awful. laughs> I actually heard a quote from uh, Francis Chan and he said if you go in the Bible and you like highlight like all the times where God talks about his love and then all the times that God talks about his wrath and like highlight them in two different colors, it'll actually be like 50-50. So, because we often want to put, I mean, some Christians do put focus on the wrath part and some do on the love, but I think we just have to have that balance. And I mean, that's what Jesus is, you know, he's, he's love, but he's also wrath. Do you wear makeup everywhere you go? No. <laughs> oh, no, no, no. No, I used to. I don't know why, like literally every single day, get up and do my makeup like as if it was like me taking a shower. It was that mm -hmm. common for me to yeah. do it, Yeah. but not anymore. Now I, I'm like okay with just waking up. I do like having my hair done because it's just like, I just feel like my hair is like, okay, at least it looks mm -hmm. good. It doesn't look like I just yeah. rolled out of bed. Yeah, that's yeah. True. But with makeup, I don't, I'm, no, not anymore. I would say I'm probably pretty bad about it. Like I can go out. But I have to at least have concealer on. <laughs> you know, let me just, you know, these eye bags don't lie. Like, yeah, I, I feel you on that sometimes, though, yeah. Really bad dark circles, so I don't know. I've I've been getting better about it, and it's yeah. probably just, like, confidence issue mm -hmm. that I need to work on, yeah. honestly. Yeah. TBH. Something I worked on as well, yeah. I was going to say, like, it's an, I feel like part of it is a confidence thing and an yeah. age thing of just, like, learning how yeah. to be confident in your own skin without right. anything. Yeah. yeah. Um, Cause yeah. yeah, I definitely went through a phase where I did not want to wear, where I couldn't go out without makeup. Yeah, same here. Yeah, and yeah, it was just like a realization of like, first of all, I'm beautiful without makeup. Exactly. Like I do not need that. And if I feel like I need makeup to make me look beautiful, then like, that's a problem. I need mm -hmm. to recognize that God made me beautifully and yeah. perfectly. I like makeup. It's fun. Yeah. <laughs> same here. All right. Quick thoughts on Trump and his Trump. Christ like <laughs> and go <laughs> do I think Trump is a Christ like president no <laughs> yeah he's not I do not well, think he's a Christ like figure like I think he's figuring things out but no. I don't, <laughs> yeah. figuring it out but yeah. I don't think he like even claims to be a Christian like I know he supports biblical values yeah but I don't think he actually is like I've gotten saved you know i'm a christian right people ask like how can you be a christian and support trump mm -hmm. and like my question is how can you be a christian and support any of the democratic candidates who are for abortion who are for right. uh mm, um, just literally everything that is N insert sin bi here <laughs> yeah biblically <laughs> incorrect yeah. and against god the other thing is like people are like oh but trump uh, you know was is is racist he's sexist he's talked about women horribly and like mm -hmm. i agree like he's done a lot of crappy things and but that's been in the past. Mm -hmm. But like when you look at him and where he's taken this country in the f almost four years that he's been a president is insane. Right. Like he has done things that no other president has done. Mm -hmm. So when we're talking about a man who needs to lead the country and is going to lead it in the right way, get us out of poverty, like get people out of poverty, get people jobs, get people new lives basically yeah. like yeah. he's done it yeah and i think there's just so much fake news and yeah. so much of an, a left agenda right fake news fake news, fake news. <laughs> <That's terrible. laughs> uh, there is an incredible 
incredible agenda mm -hmm. out against Trump, mm -hmm. against anyone that believes anything biblically, like mm -hmm. <laughs> biblical, I just encourage you, one, to really pray about it mm -hmm. and to ask the Lord, like, God, is this someone you want me to be praying for? Like, exactly. mm -hmm. you don't even have to support him fully. You don't have to be like, yeah, yeah Trump, right. Trump, Trump. Like, that's not what you <laughs> what is needed in here, but yeah. to pray for our president, yes. to lift him up in positivity, to right. want the best for him, like, oh, yeah. that is important. Yeah. And there are Christians, people claiming to be Christians out there that say the nastiest, exactly. most vile things about Trump, mm -hmm. and it's just like, yeah, what? Exactly. Where's the disconnection? Yeah. So. I don't care if your president is Hillary Clinton or Trump or mm -hmm. insert president here i just said her name because she was in the last election <laughs> but pray for them exactly pray for your president i mean just like she was saying i feel like he's one of the most attacked oh my goodness, presidents yeah. in like the history of ever mm -hmm. he's like the most attacked man in the yeah. world right now <laughs> yeah. yeah it's insane yeah. Yeah. what's the hardest part about dating oh no <laughs> <laughs> texting Texting, 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 texting. I feel like every time. Okay, I'm sorry. I'm too passionate. You to come a little bit. <laughs> Literally me. <laughs> every time I get into a relationship, and I'm sorry to guys out there, but I feel like I you have to get to know person after person after person after person, and you like have all the, like just flirting conversations. I mean, not like bad flirting. You know what I mean? And just like just getting to know each other and then all of a sudden you're just like gone and they're out of your life so i'm like if i'm gonna get to know this person i at least want to be friends with them because i yeah. feel like i get to know i just you get to know so many people and then all of a sudden they're just gone so, mm -hmm. so you feel like people aren't spending enough time actually like hanging out it's all through like really quick like yeah what is it? like, what it's just like i don't like text well i don't like texting all day long yeah so a lot of people know that too like even my friends i don't text back right away yeah i am so now yeah. Literally <laughs> so, me. Sometimes, like, all, I mean, like, obviously with you, I was yeah. texting a lot, but, because yeah. we we're, like, coming down here. Yeah. But, um, I mean, just, like, on a regular basis, I let text messages go for a long time, and then I'll yeah. text back hours later. Um, sometimes I'll yeah. be, like, D -d 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 if we're having, like, a conversation back and forth, but. Well, it's funny because I think, like, that is just so expected of like that's just something people do when mm -hmm. they're dating when they first start dating and they first start liking each other they're texting constantly yeah and like that's just not your personality like it doesn't even matter if you're like super like in, head over heels in love with them you're like i don't want to text every day all day long like yeah. leave me alone i got yeah. a life to live yeah fact. which i think is really good and people need more <laughs> of your perspective and yeah. mindset yeah. but for the most part people are like oh i'm so butterflies blue 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 let's text all day long 24 7 <laughs> and i feel yeah. like that's when they can become an idol because you're yes. constantly thinking about them right like more than the things of god so yeah. it's like they're constantly on your mind and you're like yeah. oh insert person's name here yeah. like, oh. exactly yeah. i feel like this just finding the balance in dating is it's really something that can be difficult because yeah you do want to invest time in that person but you also want to make sure that you're not making that relationship a priority and you're making your relationship with god a priority because if you're not paying attention to your relationship with god things can easily start slipping out and that relationship is not going to be honoring to god because you're focused so much on this person that you forgot the purpose of it which was to be together grow together in christ and when it just becomes like really you know yeah like you said like idolizing it's like no you need to learn balance and um if they're mature in their walk as well mm -hmm. they'll understand that you yeah. know they'll be more than okay with that yeah mm -hmm. I feel like another like hard thing about dating is discouragement because like you mm -hmm. want to find that person to spend the rest of your life with mm -hmm. and then they're just like not it not it mm -hmm. not yeah. it and it's just kind of like the <laughs> whole waiting process and, and you get your hopes up yeah yeah, yeah. Yes. you get super excited and then it's like no they're not the one yeah, yeah. so it's like yeah. being prayer <laughs> yeah mm -hmm. for real <laughs> yeah. yeah that's why i guess they prayed up because otherwise you you'll focus too much yeah. on that paul i mean he was 26 when him and i met and like we've talked about this many times in our videos of just like how he went on a lot of dates just like single dates with like a girl one date with a girl maybe two or three if like it went kind of okay yeah. and then on to the next girl because that one wasn't the right one we're talking like 
say over a hundred girls, oh, probably. Wow. Like more maybe. Oh my goodness. <laughs> like he just boom, boom, boom. <laughs> But again, like it was one hangout and then it was like, yeah, this just isn't Sorry. He was very particular, but he said that like right before he met me He was like starting to get kind of just discouraged and just like oh my goodness How many more dates yeah. am I gonna have mm -hmm. to go on before yeah. I find my wife? Mm -hmm. Like what the heck? Yeah. Right. Um, so yeah, I think discouragement is a big one, mm -hmm. but yeah, you just gotta hang in there and trust that yeah. The Lord's leading. I've actually heard a lot of testimonies and stories of people who as soon as they like let go and let God and trusted in God and stopped thinking about it so much yeah. and just like let go of the discouragement, mm -hmm. that's when God brought somebody in their life because a lot of times I feel like that's when you're ready, when you know that you don't need that other yep. person to survive, like all you really need is God. Mm -hmm. exactly. So I would just encourage y'all to- Oh, that's my story for sure, so. Do that. That's awesome. Yeah. I mean, like, when Paul came into my life, I was at the point where I was like, God, I'm so done. I don't want to get married even. Like, I'm over it. I'm so done dealing with guys. And then God was like, yay, finally you've let go of it. Okay, yeah. here's your husband. Exactly. <laughs> but yeah, guys, just hold on to the hope that the Lord has placed in your life yep. and the desire that he's placed in your life. And again, don't make dating an idol. Don't make mm -hmm. marriage an idol mm -hmm. because it's yeah. not the end all be all. I said that oh. on my Instagram recently. Yeah. Like it is not the, the thing that's going to get you into heaven. Like mm -hmm. it's not. <laughs> yep. All right, guys, that's all we got for today. We gave you some packed questions. <laughs> that was pretty juicy. Yeah. In my opinion. I agree. So, <laughs> yeah. Make sure that you go check out their channels. You know, hit that subscribe button on their channels. <laughs> and I'll link them down below. You know, it was nice to be with Jessica in the great yes. Chicago. Yeah, so glad you came out. Yeah, yeah, so we'll have to do another collab video in the future. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. 100%. Yeah. Maybe I go to Ohio. Yeah, maybe you can come <laughs> to Ohio, Kentucky. Yeah. We can yes. show you around. We can get it done. <laughs> Yeah. Get it, the good old hee haw town <laughs> in the country. We are also doing a part two on Jessica's channel. So if it's not out when this video is out, it will be up soon. So watch out for that. Make sure you subscribe so you see that. Yes. Hit that subscribe button down below if you're new here. And <laughs> hit that thumbs up button if you like the video. Thank you guys so much for watching. God bless you guys. Keep, Keep looking, looking at Jesus. Jesus. Remember that everything's going to be all good and... Peace out. Woo. Every little thing, everything will be alright. We should like make like a rap video right now. I feel like that's what we're Honestly, like. I'm missing my beanie. <laughs> I'm yes, like, I'm barely girl. joining the game. Wait, wait a second, guys. I have a plain beanie black day. beanie. Oh my god, that'd be hilarious. <laughs> All right, let's it's do Wednesday, it. my dudes, and we're here with the Q and A. You know what I mean? Yeah. yeah. There you go. Right, let's do it. <laughs> Thanks, guys. I like the support, bro. <laughs> Something in my context. So if you see me blinking a lot, just don't mind me. I didn't bring the solution. <laughs> oh no. Hi guys.